In my travels around the world over the years, I've accumulated three different blood sugar meters. So I decided to test them all at the same time with the same drop of blood to see how close they were to each other. Here are the contenders. A One Touch Ultra Mini, which I bought 12 years ago, a True Metrics, which I bought three months ago as an emergency backup, and in this corner, my One Drop, which I've had for two years and is my main meter. I also have this one, a One Touch Horizon from Thailand in 2011, but I can't find any strips for it. But I am currently accepting offers from museums with large budgets. In my secret life, I play guitar, which means my left hand is reserved for Arlo Guthrie and Black Sabbath, so all finger bleeding is done with my right hand, which is why these are all upside down. Won't some diabetes company think of us guitarists? Here's the first of three tests. I wish the one drop meter wouldn't beep like that. Okay, one drop, 88. One touch, 86. True metrics, take your time, 72. So the ones are almost identical. The true metrics, a little bit lower. I might eat something for a 72, but probably not for an 88. Hmm. Test number two on a different day. Okay, one touch, 178. True metrics, 163. One drop, 179. Same basic result. True metrics, about 15 points lower than the ones. Okay, the third and final test. One drop, 203, one touch, 189, true metrics, 172. Bigger gap between the ones this time, but not one that would change my insulin dosing. The true metrics might, though. 203 is quite a ways away from 172, and that might mean the difference of one unit of Humalog. So there you have it. True metrics is lower than the other two. Who knows which is exactly correct, but at least they are all consistent. The lesson, I guess, is your meter isn't perfect but close enough. Thanks for watching. Keep pricking and checking. Oh, and traveling, of course. Any questions? Go here. Now, click subscribe if your fingertip isn't all covered in blood.